Hello everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. As you all know, we got something that's kind of, it was very cryptic. It was very strange, very, you know, what are these doors happening here? What is the Heaven's Door? Why are the gates shaped like harps? Why are they shaped like music notes? They kind of giving hints of, you know, something being, something new popping out. People were saying it's a graduation gate. Other people with Alban Knox and uh, Illyra also mentioning something. They were saying that it must be something bigger. I did not know what it was going to be, but I kind of felt it was going to be a new EN wave, which it tends to be. And now the EN wave actually has a name. It actually has a, a actual debut. It is uh, here. Dinoth is their main one here. It is a short 54 second thing. We are going to go through it and take a look at it fully. And then I'll come on the other side of it. So it's three. It's three in this one. New debut. Yoma Berenwert. A Ronin. Low voice. An another female. It looks like Twisty Amazak, young lady. Welcome back, Master. And then we have a maid. Oh, that voice. They're, they're really going for that voice, aren't they? That voice is absolutely going to be one that's going to turn some people's ears crazy if they ever do ASMR. <music> Dinoth debut song, Sugary Spooky. Lyrics, music, and arrangement by Kento Nagatsuka. So, streaming program and music video release. Pacific Daylight Time, the 24th, which is Friday, which is this Friday at 1900. So they're doing a really, really, really short announcement. Not even enough to make like a big, um, like Hollow Knight does a longer announcement than this in the sense to try to build hype. So Nidhi Sandy doesn't believe in, in building hype, as we know. They just want to push out and create something new. At the very least, they gave him a song. At the very least, they gave him something. So Dinoth is going to be their new VTuber EN debut group. Let's see what people say down here. It says, yeah, new wave. Gosh, uh, Clara's voice. Yep, the maid VTuber, so ready for this wave. One of the best uh, teasers I've seen so far. So they're actually trying to do good teasers, it looks like, because the teaser's not that bad. It looks so cute. They're, they're really trying to get into the parasocialism, though, it looks like, with the maid VTuber and, and the sultry voice for the maid VTuber. Uh, they're so cool. I'm excited. Let's go. Of course, these are all fans. But you guys let me know what you think, of course, in the comments and everywhere else. Because uh, this one, if they support them correctly, then yeah, it's going to do well. We will see how it goes because TTT didn't get any support. It's barely the first time they're going to Anime Impulse recently. As I said in my other video, it's crazy how little they've supported their, their groups until now, until they've actually been forced to, which sucks. Honestly, it sucks. Mission, since uh, we are still talking about the newest uh, member of Nidhi Sanji and the newest three, of course, the new generation, is uh, Twisty Amano Zako. Amano Zako. Yeah, Amano Zako. Twisty Amano Zako. This is their Twitch. She is the middle one. The uh, gothic lolly type of looking thing. I guess it's a lolly type of style. Uh, then you have the maid and the other butler looking dude. And yeah, they're doing a debut stream on the 24th. But look, she she knows. I guess she knows. She's she's playing off of things that are going on in Nidhi Sanji. Just showing you a little bit of that. Uh, and she's in the time out. Desunya. Oh, that's going to be her tick. Her dick tick is going to be Desunya. Uh, don't take your eyes off of her. Do not put your fingers through the cage. Do not feed her lots of sweets. Okay, but what did you do? It's her, it's her house. Okay, so Nidhi Sanji has her in a cage. She's a little too self-aware. She's a little too self-aware. But this is kind of funny. I like when people are self-aware like this. She's playing off of the whole thing with Nidhi Sanji. I, I can get respect for that. I respect the livers. Like, I always respect the livers. But, you know, Nidhi Sanji actually does have them in a cage in a, in a bit of a way. We all know the, the contract. We know that whole thing. So, yeah, just wanted to add this at the, at the end part. Vox Akuma is close to reaching 1 million subs milestone, but in reverse. Uh, yeah, he's losing 10k every 90 days or so. It's not a ton compared to, like, yeah, that's more than what I have as subscribers overall to be lost. So that's still a lot. But it's like, for him, it's like, eh, I guess. Vox Akuma 10k. Uh, Luka Kaneshiro last 7 days 10k. Ike Evelyn only 1k, 3k after the last 30 days. So yeah. Uh, congratulations, of course. 
Congratulations to Vox Akuma for going to what getting to 1 million, but this time backwards in a uh, interesting turn twist of fate, as you would call it, when it comes to this. But yeah, people are saying the majority of Luxium losing subs while Shu is just chilling. Because Shu hasn't been involved in any drama, at least as far as I can tell, hasn't really been involved in any drama. So that is his own fault for doing the black screen stream that they could have decided not to do because they're adults. They could decide not to do anything that they want. So that's just want to let you guys know about this. So I'm going to say this. I don't like doing these types of things, but I do like putting things out so people can get an idea of the good players and the bad players in this whole thing. Now, thanks to False ID doing this and also someone who it was in my Discord who mentioned this about a month ago, about a week or two ago when I first covered this story. Um, False was on vacation, so he would have covered it earlier if he had the chance. But I covered the beginning of this whole situation when there was a former talent that was going all out and was basically calling them out for everything they did. But here's one recent thing that they've done that I don't like at all. They said the rapid misinformation, half stories, and inf infantilization of myself and colleagues by others have been grossly insulting. Transparency has always been the basis of our business relationship. I have held my tongue to allow him to speak first out of respect, and as this has made me targeted at him. I'm extremely disappointed in people. Says, sorry guys, running off two days of uh, sleep. This is Seth from um, the MSM Talents. He says, barely any sleep with all this going on. Try to put together a response, but please remember I'm not an influencer and I'm not used to public speaking. And this is going to, uh, for the X, the, the X.com, the, you know, scamming people, the one that, that I went over before. Um, we have this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, play back at 1.25, so it won't be too long. And then... Uh, let you guys hear it. A few individuals in our community aimed at me. Generally, it is my policy not to publicly address rumors within the industry. But in this instance, it's now going beyond rumors, affecting not just me, but it's also affecting my family and MSM talent. So I'd like to clarify some major points. Our Maryland LLC has been in the process of correcting its status with the state when our CPA passed away suddenly. Clarify some major points. Our Maryland LLC has been in the process of correcting its status with the state when our CPA passed away suddenly. This has been the source of a number of delays, and we've had to get assistance. And it says, you should have received the invite to Smart Vault to complete power of attorney form, return compliance check. I need a new client form attached. Additionally, I have an invite under this email at QuickBooks online account. Lastly, I would add any documentation regarding the MSM LLC. And what this is all about is this is about, um, you know, the things happening at, with MSM not having, uh, you know, the full uh, everything, supposedly, according to False and everybody else. So, yeah from a new tax and legal professional. The process has been restarted with the new tax professionals for months. None of this has impacted Talent's payments. As Talent's have always received any money they're owed, this has never affected our ability to work with sponsors. In terms of blacklist, there is no blacklist. As managers, we will always keep track of potential bad actors and often warn Talent, but we do not actively prevent Talent from interacting with anyone. If our Talent choose to collab with others, those decisions are made on their own. Claims have been made stating that there were two entities being used for MSM, both Mad Scientist Media LLC and MSM Talent. They are the same entity. There's only been one Maryland entity for MSM. Okay. Grinding Coffee Co. was a black and queer owned business. I was not in charge of this business, nor was I the majority owner. We rebranded due to the majority owner not being able to be more intimately involved. So we changed the branding. I can't get into the specifics for privacy's sake of those involved. Nonetheless, also was the one person okay. from the coffee company. First Aussie Biz, a company does exist. It was filed months ago. It's registered under a different name, and I do On the right, the you can say. see everything they the said. The PayPal transactions in the video can be seen as returned due to our team identifying the issue that PayPal processing system was incorrectly listing payment details. This has been canceled and funds returned to the customer at the time to ensure the transactions were done properly. To resolve this matter, we had offered the customer their order at no cost due to the inconvenience. After this issue was resolved, no more payments were done through a PayPal payment processor. Okay. In terms of the other LLCs mentioned, these were utilized when I was serving as an independent contractor at a number of different businesses to protect myself. These LLCs are in forfeiture because I genuinely did not make use of them beyond what they were originally created for. After this, there was no reason to maintain the LLCs. There have been claims that I endorse the doxing of individuals and specifically that I would make threats to dox individuals. This is a ridiculous and completely untrue statement. As a talent representative, I do not endorse doxing and actively work to prevent doxing of many VTubers and other community figures, as I believe it is a safety risk. In terms of the tweet shown from 2016, I was a 21 year old and at the time I thought it was something that was acceptable, when for many obvious reasons, it was not. The posts were made out of what was then an attempt at overly cringe humor, which does not reflect on how I feel about anything. As for the Facebook account, my personal account has been hacked and relates to a situation completely separate from my current work. It's unrelated, but also a consequence of past mistakes, which I've been working to grow and improve from, as an individual and as a business owner. As far as the court date, this is a personal matter that has nothing to do with MSM and its finances. The personal matter had been something I was not fully aware of because I was moving, but has been promptly resolved with the collection company. In regard to False's statement around claims against him, as a talent representative, I always have to have the best interest of my talent at heart, which will at times mean being the guard that has to give warnings to people who wish to interact with them. 
It often makes me a bad guy to others. Ultimately, my goal is simply to protect my talent. MSM creators have the ability to leave at any time with no repercussions. As far as has been communicated to us, talent have enjoyed working with MSM. And we've done everything we can to rectify any issues brought to us, and we will continue to support them where we can. Ultimately, our talent satisfaction is our top priority. I've been seeing this all unfold, knowing that the thing that makes this as bad as it is are my past mistakes. I'm seeing my colleagues, friends, and talents harmed and caused unnecessary stress and fear. It's exhausting. I'm exhausted. I've worked for the past three years with our goal to build a place for talent to grow and accomplish their dreams, and we will continue to do so. We will continue to help this industry in any way that we can. Asmund Gold was right. I was a hustler, working my ass off trying to accomplish something and making a metric ton of mistakes along the way. But what we've built over the past three years is an amazingly talented team of staff that have molded MSM into the well-run talent management company it is today. I've learned from my past mistakes and have channeled that work ethic into this project. We've worked hard to ensure that the careers of everyone involved in MSM can grow. Thank you for listening to my side. So that is his side of the story. That's the side of the story of Seth, the person who is in charge of MSM. As you know, he's the person who has been claimed, it has been claimed of him at least, that he is mistreating people, that he has done things to make others feel bad, that he has done other things that make, you know, n make him not look in the best light possible. And that is definitely something that I'm going to go over uh, with the things that are put here. Um, with this person here saying right here, he jumped the gun. He says, part of that is because the matter hits close to home and it hurts. I have deep personal investment in it. Uh, there are people I have trusted. I have called friends. I have helped many others immensely and have always sought to continue doing so. An objective and have always held near and dear to my heart, uh, but struggled and could not do alone. MSM has always been a place where I can interact freely with people and felt safe. That has been my experiences. Another part is because I'll admit it. I have deep personal distaste and distrust for Kim Crimbo. Crimbo was a person who started basically whistleblowing for the whole thing. After what I witnessed over time and during personal in group interactions, I silently endeavored to keep him at a distance. So I felt as though a secure space, my sanctuary, had been violated and I lashed out. He and I will never see eye to eye. They never will. And at the end of the day, if wrongs were committed and the evidence is there, let it show. However, I ask that people do not speak of speak for me. Do not speak as if you know me, my situation, my experiences. And as I continue to learn, but I can speak for myself and will do so if I choose. I ask that there is a desire to seek justice, seek justice. Insults and rash actions only serve to muddy the waters. Of course, do not insult. Establish an objective, be clear and concise with it. And understand that no one except the courts of law are arbiters of justice. Let evidence stand, let everyone's stories be told and they're willing to tell them and know that you cannot force someone to tell theirs. That is a choice only for them. Strive to be kind and cannot strive to be professional. That I feel you should. That I feel you should be obligation of anyone on a platform. Of course, anyone who has a platform should have to strive for that. I strive for that, for professionalism at least. Now, why am I making this video? Quokwi came out recently with a a a vod mentioning the issues that she's had with MSM, with Seth specifically, with doxing and other things. Just wanted to say thanks for hearing me out. I was so afraid to say anything at all, but I woke up to so much support. Thank you so much for listening. I think I'm going to enjoy the day off for the first time in a long time. That was five hours ago. And this is what we're talking about here. She's such a sweet girl. She's such a sweet creator and had to go through this crap. And that takes me off of it. Let's go right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, but we've been trying, we, uh, a trend that we had noticed whenever we'd reach out to certain people, all related to MSM, is we'd just get hit with like walls of silence. Um, sometimes it would be a couple, you know, a couple of times or whatever, but it got frustrated, you know? We tried, we tried really hard to reach out to people constantly. Um, and nobody wanted to fucking talk about it. So now we're doing it like this instead and it fucking sucks, dude. We fucking tried, we fucking there's, tried. There's okay? all, she's um, putting all uh, the, the receipts up there. All the receipts up there. Here's a, all those here's receipts. Another one. There's a lot of like, these, guys. All there's those receipts these, okay? right there. There's a lot of these fucking receipts, okay? Um, like, look, you see, I just wanted to make sure we could, we're cool. There's some pretty vile S being spread about me and my friends. I just wanted to make sure we're on, we're a friendly Twitter cleanse. You know, basically, she's reaching out. That's her reaching out. Uh, and, 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 um, we even, um, like, we just hit dead end and, like, after dead end, uh, like, after dead end. And, like, Crimbo even offered to, like, speak up to, like, mutual parties who were closer to him on our behalf. And unfortunately, we were met with people who already had preconceived notions about us and disregarded the situation. And there's like one in particular earlier. <laughs> it shouldn't ever get this way. Okay, like at the party, it said that they wanted to like stay out of it or that it was like complicated or something like that. Um, but they literally didn't give us a chance, and they just assumed me and I were stupid fucking kids. And 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 Grimble had to correct them and say that we're fucking old, man. I, you don't get that out of me often. I'm a fucking hag, man. We don't deal with this kind of shit, dude. We're we're not high school, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's go forward. Uh, here, let me get out of this band. <sighs> I'm gonna, oh wait, excuse me a second. I'm gonna mute Dob and us. And Dob, I miss you. Uh, this, one fucking, this one fucking sucks to have to talk about. Um, uh, The other elephant in the room that we have to talk about is what happened between Tob and us. And Dob, I miss you. And I mean that. And I want what's best for you. And I want to mend things. And I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, So, um, let me get a thing. Um, 
some some of you guys might have figured this out obviously um but um <laughs> uh okay here you go um tab was originally approached to be a founding member of 3am with myself and olivia um we were all very excited and soon brought on cali and neat to the team it's just a, a vtuber group by the way each other. and so like doing Not this, anything crazy. Like, we were so excited to get to do this together it felt really great um and Tab was all about it at first. Tab was completely into it. Um, and here's some like screenshots to show um, how excited she was to join in on the planning and stuff like that. And I even have original sketches um, of the stuff that we were like planning with Tab originally. Yeah. We started off as a very happy, lighthearted friendship with the South Side. And then we invited them to become friends of the South Side. It soon became very difficult. And then she started getting harder and harder to get a hold of. And, um, uh, sorry, I'm really bad with slideshow. I should have made this a slideshow. And then, um, we had, uh, made a list of stuff that we wanted her to okay with Seth, um, because she was accepted to MSM. Okay. And, um, we, we just wanted to make sure it was okay and wasn't going to breach a contract or anything like that, because we have still wanted her, obviously. There was no reason we wanted to not have her. If, uh, fucking Seth, as the manager of fucking MSM, had been bad-mouthing us and Mythic Talent while hanging out, um, with both <laughs> MSM talents and friends of. He even bad-mouthed Mythic to a Mythic talent. Wow. That's how sloppy this guy is. This was later confirmed by a second friend who also let us know something was up and that we have a target on our backs. Um, and it sucks because like one day we were cool with Tob. You saw how nice and pleasant the DMs were. That's how it always was. We were always very sweet with Tob. It was a lot of fun. And then one day there was just no Tob and there was no, no, there was nothing. It was just, it was, it, it was so confusing. Um, wow, that's uh, pretty messed up. Um, and um, I wasn't the only one to also get doxxed. I'm sure you probably saw the she comment got from me in chat. Um, like you mentioned here, she got doxxed. She just mentioned here, basically. Later on, we find out fucking Seth. Uh, every other day or something like that, I dropped a new member. Um, two days after I was announced, I was doxxed online and personal and identifying information. Uh, I'm sorry, some personal and identifying information that I did tell a certain someone wound up there. And soon after this, um, contact with Tob became scarcer and scarcer. Um, yep, another dox. I tried, I tried to reach out and ask what's up, but I get no reply. Um, and then uh, TwitchCon happened. Um, identifying and personal information, Koki didn't even know this information. Tob. It was a lot of fun. And then one day there was just no top and there was no, no, there was nothing. It was just, it was, it, it was so confusing. Um, uh, um, and, um, I wasn't the only one to also get doxxed. I'm sure you probably saw the comment from Meat in Crimbo's chat, um, the other night. Meat said, I'll say it here. I gave personal information to one person for an industry thing. Identifying and personal information, Koki didn't even know this information at the time. I was told I had to share it for an industry event. Once again, I gave this to one person. It was posted online quite some time after. Oh my. It gave me confirmation on exactly where it was coming from. My own dad has said my nickname several times on stream. It was not that that was leaked. Um, so there was more doxing. There was um, a bunch of doxing in, in uh, MSM and through Seth. Interestingly enough, Seth has been heard saying by his own talents that doxing isn't that big of a deal. It's, it's funny because me and I ironically got docs too. Very funny, right? Um, I should also mention this. And I want to say this came in three days ago. Three days ago from a former associate of Seth's. Three days ago, I got this information. He said he was squealing in excitement that 4chan was finally noticing him, saying he's finally made it. And again, this was only revealed to me three fucking days ago because I've talked to so many fucking people. Had a lot of information about me. It was fucked up. Uh, knocked over. Um, I did get docs again. Um, it was it was a really sneaky way. It was like a paste bin. Um, and uh, it contained a lot of information about me. It was fucked up. Um, a, a, a deep, 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 a lot of information about me. Um, and um, that's 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 basically the timeline. Um, but now I, I want to go on and touch on the um the accusations now. Um. Ugh. There's a lot of accusations going around. Um, for now, we're just going to talk about the doxing stuff. There's been a lot of accusations. Kokui, unfortunately, has had to suffer a lot due to this, has had to suffer a lot due to... I mean, when you get doxxed, like I said, I have been doxxed as well recently. Not a nuclear dox where all my personal identifying information is out there, but someone has also attempted to dox me, so I really have a very much a dislike a distaste for people who try to do those things who try to knock you down on those things instead of knock you down on your merits um that is really vile and evil of course there are two sides to every coin i am going to say doxing is never good if this is all true which i don't think she would lie i don't think she would lie um that people are informing them it could be people saying things here and there you know things to the grapevine or uh, a, a thing of telephone who knows but i'm going to take her at her word Kokui. Because I haven't seen Koki be that type of person as far as I've seen, as far as I've heard inside of the VTuber community. She's a trustworthy person. She's a kind person. She's very fun to be around from what I've heard inside of the VTuber community, the small VTuber community that exists. I am sorry that she has had to go through this, but I wanted to cover this because MSM Media, MSM Talent has done a lot of negative things recently uh, with Ky Cairo, Cairo as well. You know, the things that I've mentioned, everything that I've mentioned before about what's happening and what's going on right now. It just, in my opinion, it all seems to not be handled very well, seems to be handled by an immature person. And in my opinion, uh, they should really revamp themselves, reorganize and just fix the issues that they have because doxing is never good. 
And here we have a wild Doki Bird, a wild smug Doki Bird. Doki clutched up the, t the Tekken 8 Grand Finals by playing King. And she, you know, her team won. Doki with the Sajam Slam W. This is a kind of a meme sort of section because of, you know, her smug face. And the uh, the special looking smug face. Banana Namco cheering her on. What was the spot negligible? She's at her strongest when she's not thinking and hating glue like a real gobbler. Uh, how does evil work? Doki going to be fl uh, fresh uh, on the visible at all? FTC fans here. I do wonder if they'd find workarounds for VTubers who want to remain anonymous. Um, yeah, but generally people do show up in person. They probably they probably figured something out. They probably figured something out for Doki, to be honest with you. They probably did. And the last one is, of course, the curry. Would you rather have the uh, Riku curry, which is an actual curry, it actually happened. The livers showed it before. I showed it. I showed sauce in the um, in things I've done before about this one. Or would you want the uh, the Suisei curry or the the Miko the Miko food? Uh, me comment. Yep. Narcissism. Riku is displaying, forcing himself to become a meme for years. Monkey paw. Ew, Riku, where's my Yago curry? I need Yago curry. I definitely need Yago curry. Serious curry related taste wise. Uh, no one would probably be that good uh, since you're paying for the content rather than the flavor. But I totally fall for the me comment one sticker. Me comment. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nom, nom, nom. Ever since Iwanaga left, suddenly Riku has kitchen merch plastered with his face. Cakes with his face printed out. Curry rice with his face. So yeah. It's tweet by Kanada Shoichi showing the Riku curry, of course, because yes, it's it's actually a thing. Receive this year's mid-year curry. They actually, it's it's a meme. It's it's an actual strong meme here. The Riku curry, big fan. Petra talking about Riku curry. Uh, Takami curry hasn't arrived yet. Why? And here is the actual different curry with Selen on there. So someone should save this because Selen was a wonderful person who is no longer with Kurosanji, of course. A good look, a little bit. Um for the Renisaurus. Renisaurus is a good friend of Sayu, has been doing a lot of uh, Stardew Valley with Sayu, other things with Sayu, uh, some, you know, randomizer stuff. She has um, said recently, she's put a sad face and she says, no stream today, not feeling well mentally. Hope she feels better. This is not good because I do know how it feels to not have good mental days. It's very hard to push yourself to do anything on bad mental days. And of course, it should always go first. Your mental health should always be first. Should always have that as a priority. And she's getting a lot of support here. You know, hugs. Uh, she's getting what's wrong, virtual hugs. Uh, you know, people are like, oh my goodness. Because of the fact that, you know, she's always been a very positive one, especially like in Saya streams, which is where I know them from. Been very positive, been very, you know, giving Sayu all the support they need. Commissions here, you know, the, the, the Oopsies uh, need a lot of sleep after yesterday's long stream. I'm awake now, though, maybe. That was May 19th. You know, the basically the stuff with with uh, hags, 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 you know, little memes going on here. She's uh, She's been very supportive of everything. So it does suck when you get to hear this thing when you see this thing happening right now. And of course, she's getting a lot of to try league. Uh, take care, Rennie. It's all good, Rennie. Remember to take care of yourself. It's all positive here. And I send positive vibes to Rennie because she deserves it. Continuing on, we have, uh, looks like Pixel Link Girls. We're taking a look at this. Arisu Oshiro, Kana Yanagi, Chio Chompy, Daya Fortuna. So the redhead, uh, the demon, it looks like a demon down here in Chompy. Uh, then we have a detective looking girl, uh, Kana, and a, oh dear lordy, I am... I'm going to say this because this is what a lot of people are thinking. A lot of people are thinking like this. I'm going to say it, but not as a diss to uh, Pixel Link. But the one on the top left, Arisu, looks like Bibu. Like at least the Bibu style. Uh, the one on the top right looks like um, looks like uh, Melee Watson style. Bottom right looks original. And bottom left looks like um, kind of Rosen Maiden a little bit. So they're, they're, they're hitting tropes. They're hitting tropes. They're hitting tropes that work. So of course they're going to hit tropes that work to see if it'll work for them too. I give them props for at least making the uh, the actual designs unique. Because each design is unique. Even though they fit certain tropes, each design is unique. Which is good. You don't want to ever be seen as a copycat, of course. Uh, Daya really needs to look like Red Selene Illyra with heterochromia. With Nova, wasn't really the obvious. The same artist for, at, at first for me. But like Saberface Syndrome... A first time hearing Pixel Link, the English speaker. Yes, uh, that they are. Seen a fair amount of Gen 1's Lati and Chiaki. They have my recommendations. So it's it's a good company. It seems like a good company with, with good people behind them. They know how to choose the talent. So that's always good. Rumored Erika Biako from Re Reverie might got, have got picked up as a duck detective. And that's the case. I'm super hyped. Really loved her wholesome vibes. I heard that she was returning to VTubing. Erika Biako from Re Reverie is rumored to be in this. As a detective at the top right, the Kanayanagi. They're going Kurosanji is going to be Vox Crazy Girls, Masochist, and a, 
uh, ruining his fetishes. Uh, never heard of Pixel Link, but like the design. Also, Selen face is real. Yes, the, the smug Selen face, yes, of course, is going to happen. Um, their first gen debuted the same time as V4 Mirai's first gen last year. Been lower profile. They allow talents to take their IPs with them. That is a good sign. If they allow the talents to actually take their IPs with them, then yes, they have a, a, a positive vote there from me. Of course, this is a smaller VTuber organization in the EN field. They are doing what they can to give their, their, their talents, their VTubers, their livers, a bit of a leg up when they can. So everything's looking good. Hopefully... Everything goes well for them. I really do hope so. Now, since I like um, stats, and not everyone likes stats, but I like stats. Let's take a look at time spans between it. 3.0 brush-ups are listed between January 31st and the Tweet Benita Chandi World. List dates are in EST. So the dates you see may differ uh, slightly due to time zones. The site variation in dates doesn't matter much in the time span between brush-up and the brush-up stream, but announcement versus stream. Time span is calculated at brush-up announcement, brush-up stream. Okay. The GN, February 9th, the tweet, announcing the stream. February 10th to stream, VStats is there. Time span, 11 days. Uh, one week and four days. So this is when they had it first, February 9th. And the brush up stream was on uh, three months ago in February as well. Uh, the It was started on the 10th. So yeah, the brush up announcements in here. And they, this one did rather well for the brush up. Close to one, about $1,000, just about. And we have here for uh, the things with the Illyra Pandora ones. And we have the brush up announcements for the other Niji EN people. Have the brush up here, May 17th. And this was one day ago, which was May 19th. So it was about a couple of days. So uh, on this one was um, 50, 110 days uh, between the, uh, when it was first, I guess, when they, uh, three months and 20 days. I cannot find any tweet regarding the stream or the stream itself for Niji JP Watari Hana. Bada 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 bada. And we're going with uh, the March 27th tweet, 24 days, according to this person. Here's Scarla's brush up, Scarla's brush up stream. Scarla, of course, is one of the good ones. And, you know, the uh, the uh there wasn't a lot of stuff in regards to that. The brush up announcement here for the original brush up announcement, I believe. February 9th to March 23rd, so three weeks. Um, The March 8th, so one week and two days for this one. Where's this one right here for Alban Knox? And we have here for Alban Knox as well. I like when they have the actual um, stream dates and everything like that. We're going here with more stuff. The V stats for the 3.0 brush up here for Rindo Mikoto, February, tw I mean, uh, April 27th. You have 3.0 brush ups April 13th to the 27th. And there we go. The brush up actually happened. So that was uh, eight weeks and three days from when it was announced, when the original one was announced, which was up here, the main tweet. Um, it's when their original brush up one was announced and then their stream announcements, the original brush up announcement and their streams. I'm going to go through these a lot quicker this time, just so it doesn't end up being like a 10 minute video, uh, just so you guys can get to see everything. Uh, for, uh, let's see, Vizalius, it was one month and 13 days. For Sunny, it was one month and 20 days. Here is the original one for them, which was on March 29th. And of course, May 8th, and that's when it happened. May 9th is when it happened. May 10th is when it happened, I mean. Then we have Sunny, which was May 16th, and then it happened on May 17th. We have the next brush up for Nozomi and Kunai Nakasato. We have April 26th when it was announced, May 8th when it was done for both of them, and there is the V stats on theirs, which did it did okay. It did you know all right. Uh, it didn't do anything crazy, uh, like you know crazy numbers or anything like that, but at least it did okay. The average only includes leverage to put on brush up streams. Including Alira, eight, 8 of the 10 livers have 3.0 brush-up streams. It's 40 days. 30 and 19 days divided by among 8 livers. It's about 30 days average. Time span range. Shortest time span, 9 days. Uh, longest time span, 110 days. Range is around 101 days. And of course, they have this here for you guys to see. Uh, time span and days using Alira Pandora. All this number here. Not using Alira Pandora. And on the right is time span and days versus the liver. Uh, Ilera Pandora being the longest and Rindo Mikoto on the JP side being the longest days versus liver. So just giving you a little bit of, of uh, number, number prawn. There are some questions. They can choose when 3D stream or are they soon as possible? Who are the Life 2D riggers? Most of them don't share their Life 2D company employees. So yeah, a 3.0 brush up model rig is specific standard, more layers, more moves. Or is it just a version of 3.0 for whatever? I think it's it's more layers. I think it's what it is. Kuzo has was two years, four months, and 13 days. 3.0 announcement was on June 30th, 2021. And 3.0 stream was on 2023. Wow. That was super long. That is super long. 
So I imagine COVID affected it. Yeah, the, the CV stuff affected it most more than likely. Uh, this is the stuff after the big uh, the big shutdown, the big lockdown, the big whatever you want to call it. So this is a little bit different. Have. Gibby opens up a chat and gives an important message to his community. It's extremely cute. People say it's already implied in the fandom when said fandom can have a meltdown over the state of California. And two deleted threads on Hollow subreddit about this clip are some of the foulest cesspools you'll ever find on Reddit. Deleted threads are more because of a certain group of people who hate on the Hollow Boys for no reason other than they exist. Pretty sure the group in question are little more than s stirring tourists, but they're there. I feel the Hollow guys have more leeway in such issues. Kanata is also very open about the particular topic. Could be wrong. Maybe it'll get bonked. Don't know. I think there's uh, objectionable anyone here. Like, there's a major difference between being openly accepting and engaging in activism. Not because shoot is pushing views on uh, segregation viewers, supporting game boycott, for example, as that would create clear divide in the fan base and get corporal legal involved as well for potential rep reparation damages. So yeah, you might end up having to go through reparation damages, uh, you know, some kind of damages for that. Hope he doesn't. If he gets punished for this, I would lose a lot of respect for Hololive. I honestly don't think he would get punished for this. Honestly, truly. And this is what it is. This is what people are, are kind of talking about. This one here that I'm going to go in and do it for you so you guys can see what he's talking about. He's pretty much trying to make a safe space for everybody, which is commendable 100%. And let's let's go here. Super, by the way, this is one of my many reasons why you're my Kami Oshi. The amount of care and love you give for us is the same amount we want to give to you. Yeah, Mike. One thing that I've always struggled with is when you have like a lot of bubbies, a lot of friends, and this goes beyond, like, I think maybe some of you can even relate to this. Maybe. It's difficult to find time for each and every individual that you love. Oh, absolutely. There are people oh, who absolutely. live across the world. There are people who are in different states, different countries and whatnot. But the fact that we're able to talk at all and the fact that we're able to connect on a level where we have genuine friendship, great memories together. Is oh, I love that. that. Is everlasting. That's something that never leaves me. And I think that's the importance of... Uh, of course, holding these friendships. <laughs> exactly. That's why I, I like this community. Like I like the community I have. I don't like I like the friendship so lightly have. for them to mean nothing. I truthfully, truthfully love you guys. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, please. No, no crying. I'm oh my crying. goodness. I'm gonna fucking cry. Can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> group crying session. <laughs> yes, group crying session. Group cry and hug. <laughs> Yes. I feel like you guys have helped me through something that I feel like I don't give you enough credit for. And it, now would be a proper time for me to thank you. Um, I remember I've cried many times here. Maybe more, more, many more times than I can count, honestly. But a lot of you bubbies, one time I forgot, I think it was during my trip to Japan. I came back home, I cried and everything like that. <laughs> and a lot of you guys said it's okay to do that to cry and be open like that and i, really I, I like when a community can be open like that to be this honest allowing me to be as open as i am and as because i wear my emotions on my shoulders i really really do and there, there's a lot of love for me to give and there are I times in my life same. where i had people say yeah you shouldn't ah, don't you cry you're a man blah, 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 blah. no no no, no people who you just say hey if you're not if you're a man and you're in touch with your feelings you're a pussy boy it's just like hey yeah i hate people who say that i do hate because i'm not afraid to be who i am that's what makes me a great person that's what makes me a great guy true yeah, this safe is for everyone. And it, okay, I'm gonna say something that I feel like surprisingly is a hot take, which is weird. But I it really is weird for things to be hot this takes. This will always be an LGBT friendly space. It will always be, at least for me. Can't speak for everyone, but for me it will. There's a lot of you people out there who are of this community, and I love that community. I've been within this community for a long time, <laughs> and I see crazy shit. Absolutely. Oh, there's a shit. crazy like, stuff going on with that. There yeah. are times where I look <laughs> on the internet and I see people within this community being treated like they're nothing. And a lot of you Hollow Stars uh, communities, not just the Bubbies, but from Armis to Tempura to everywhere in Hollow Stars and Hollow Life, for that fact, are in fact, you know, part of the LGBT. I want you to know that your life has meaning and value. Your life has more value than you know. So don't oh, absolutely. Any this is a good message. This is a good message. That's why I wanted to put it out here. From living your life to the fullest. Don't let that go against you. You're more than that, and you always will be. <laughs> Ugly cries. <laughs> I just feel like it's important. I might get bonked. I'm not too sure if I will or not, but you know, I, we, I have, of course, a lot of, I see a lot of you bubbies who are trans and I'm proud of you. A lot of you are transitioning as well. Thank you for being that strong. That is so sick. That's so awesome. Thank you for saying it. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. You guys really mean a lot to me. You're the sweetest. Loving the community more. <laughs> I'm actually crying. No, no, no. <laughs> no cry. If you're gonna cry, make it good. At least it's happy tears. Yeah, I, exactly. Happy tears. not to make you cry. I just want to ensure that I just want to make sure that you bubbies who are part of the LGBT, this is your safe space as well. I've been here for in this community for a very long time, and I've never had a more inviting, cumbersome, and quite frankly, fun <laughs> community to be a part of it. I'll try my best to make sure no one hurts you, to the best of my ability. Um, and that's the thing. I, I kind of feel the same way. I am open to everybody, LGBTQ, 
anybody, anybody who wants to join this community is very welcome to it. Even people who enjoy Nidhi Sanji, anybody who is a part of any community that wants to join here and have fun and be a part of this whole whole trip that I'm doing, I am very welcome to it. I welcome you here. I want you guys to feel safe here. I want you guys to feel welcome here and open to be, being able to communicate, of course, with respect and with kindness to each other, uh, you know, no dogpiling, anything like that. I kind of agree with this. I don't think he's going to get in trouble. Like people are saying here that they hope he doesn't get in trouble. Um, he will not get punished for this. I highly doubt it. Uh, consider switching to VTubing after a decade of plus flesh tuber because I got sick of the transphobia. I would get from being in camera. Yeah, no, that's the thing that happens. VTubing is VTubing has tourists that are very negative and very bad. But in general, it is a good space. Saya Synchronicity has done something that I didn't expect her to do, but it is good because it gets her name out there. It gets her well known um, and it gets goodwill. What is the goodwill you ask? Well, she retweeted this, which was everyone's most wanted criminal at Saya Synchronicity has kindly sponsored Afkai Gen 3's cosplay showcase. We are sincerely grateful for her support. So she has sponsored the cosplay area pretty much. And what I think the spot that what it happened in Anime Expo when I've gone, the cosplay area, you know, this cosplay repairs does uh, things like that. They can do, do a little bit of tailoring to repair your cosplay if something ripped during the event because not everyone brings uh, any kind of um, needles or anything like that because, of course, a lot of times they're not allowed inside of the venue. So they have them, you know, as their own separate thing. But she has done it. Sayu with another W. These new... Hey, Sayu, huge as of late. She's finally getting the love she had always deserved across the VTuber industry. Absolutely. Let's go. Dude, I'm pretty sure with the kind of volunteers you have, some of them would be pretty uncomfortable, but I'm absolutely glad for Sayu. That's the thing. With with, with what happened recently with uh, Kirsha, which is another independent VTuber that was kicked off of Afkai because of an independent, uh, the, the volunteers didn't weren't enjoying her, didn't want her to be there. Uh, hopefully, they don't do this to Sayu Synchronicity because this time it's money involved. They probably won't. I, I, unfortunately, a lot of these places are involved with money and they if you have if you're a sponsor you're not going to kick off no matter how much volunteers are like i don't like her i don't like this if you're giving them money they're not going to kick you off that is all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy thank you